The Food Service Exchange presents. My name is Jenner Cormier. I work at Bar Raval. We're here today at beautiful Bar Isabel, making you guys a few drinks with Hoshizaki ice, our preferred choice. We're gonna start with some chocolate bitters from Scrappies. We're gonna add in two dashes of those, followed by some fresh Meyer lemon juice and a bar spoon of homemade yellow plum jam. You could substitute in just about anything in this case. Anything seasonal, anything with um, some nice sweetness, some nice brightness. That'll act as our sweetening agent as well. We're gonna add a little bit of uh, fresh mint. Just gonna use some of the leaves. We wanna keep that sprig for garnish. Now we're gonna add some overproof bourbon. Nice healthy ounce. Followed by an aromatized wine. Beautiful French aperitif wine. So we're gonna add some ice in here, we'll give it a good shake. Today, we're lucky enough to be using Oshizaki's Crescent Cube. Just gonna give us a really nice chill on this drink without over diluting. Now we're gonna fine strain this into a chill glass. You see, we don't have many ice shards. This is that wonderful dense Crescent Cube that we used. We're just going to quickly chill down our mixing vessel, this wonderful one inch cube from Hoshizaki. We're going to jump right in, two dashes of Bitter Truth Jerry Thomas owned decanter bitters, followed by a healthy half ounce of Delmagay Vita Mezcal. We'll follow that up with a nice artichoke flavor tomorrow, and tie that drink together with Plantation's pineapple rum. So we're stirring this drink with Hoshizaki one inch cubes. They're nice and dense. So we're gonna get a really wonderful chill, just the right amount of dilution that we're looking for. And we're gonna strain that into a nice chilled old fashioned glass. And we're gonna express an orange zest over the surface of the drink. I think that far too often, ice is overlooked as a main ingredient in drink making. We can depend on Hoshizaki's ice to produce a consistent final product. 